So wheel profiles are something that I want to explore a little bit more and do some more um, uh, deep testing. Um, but in a nutshell, um, there are only a few different profiles that I've seen lately. Um, the first is uh, the classic uh, rounded profile. So this is a dead 58 millimeter wheel. Um, it is a what they call a rounded profile. Um, so there's a nice little arc that goes from um, edge to edge. It is a clean arc. Uh, there is no flat spot. There is no um, angles or anything. It is just a rounded profile. The cool thing about a rounded profile is however you land, you've got an equal amount of urethane uh, hitting the pavement or the surface so that you have stability, which is great if you're doing spins, if you're doing all around aggressive tricks. Um, a rounded profile is probably the most generic profile you can get. Take it a little bit further. This is a, um, a flat profile. Some people might even call it a square profile. So this is a Conjure brand flat. This wheel is um, a flat profile. So it's 58 millimeters. And um, you can see this flat top part. Um, compared to this rounded profile, you can see that the, um, the size is the same, and some of that um, contour on the edge is actually very similar, but the contour flat goes completely flat across the top. And it's probably flat. This wheel is 24 millimeters wide. I would say it's across the flat for about 14 millimeters or so. Um, what this does is it gives you a really nice controlled landing when you're doing um, spins and such you land and you stay flat. Um, it is not good for turning and um, spinning and slides and things like that. Um, personally, I don't like these wheels very much. Um, nothing against the compound, it's just the profile isn't my favorite. Um, I prefer a wheel that's more rounded. Another profile that you'll find is um, what they call a bullet profile. So this is a uh, bullet profile 72 millimeter wheel uh, that came on the USD Aon. Um, this is the 72 Aon. It is a bullet profile. I think these are the spinners. Uh, I don't really know what they're called, but um, you can see that they're very pointed. Um, what are these good for? Well, speed. Um, less urethane at the top means less resistance, means that when you're skating, you only have a little bit of wheel touching which means you go that much faster. You don't have any resistance. The problem with these wheels is when you're doing spins or things, you've only got a little bit of material that you're gonna land on. So unless you land flat, it can get a little squirrely. That wasn't a problem with me with these 72 millimeter wheels, but I could see that being a problem if you weren't super confident with your spins. I don't know that I did a lot of spins with these. I don't do a lot of spins to begin with, but I don't know that I did a lot of spins with these wheels. I really loved the speed with them though. And I'm really looking forward to trying some 60 millimeter uh, bullet profile wheels just to see what they feel like. I don't know that I'll prefer them. I think that a rounded profile or a rounded with a little bit of flat is the right profile for an aggressive skate. Um, but I'm really curious what a bullet profile is like. And if you were really curious, um, these are the Seba 100 millimeter wheels. This is what a bullet profile really looks like. So you can see this is still the same 24 millimeters and it goes all the way up and it's got this super sharp tip. Um, these things are built for speed. Um, similarly to my, um, my 125s, these are actually worn down a little bit, so it's not the best. But you can see with these, these are seriously bullet, um, or at least they were. They're a little flatter now because I've been skating them a lot. These are brand new. But you can see that the, um, the, the angle is really sharp. It's almost like a triangle. And um, that's built for speed. So when you're skating fast, when you're skating distance, you want as little resistance as possible. What these are really good for though is slides. So when you're doing slides like parallel slides or magic slides, when you're doing like a UFO or a front side grind, um, but you're doing it on wheels, these wheels are really cool because when you go down like this, you've got all this urethane that you can slide on and it's got a really nice stable surface and it'll slide really well. Um, 
And because it's so tall, you're not going to rub on your frame. Like if you were skating an aggressive frame, you're just on urethane. It's nice and slip. So I hope that answers your question. Um, for me personally, when I do aggressive skating, um, my preference is a rounded profile. I like to have a little bit more urethane. I don't mind losing a little bit of speed um, to have a little bit of aided uh, stability when I land grinds and tricks. Um, you might want to look at something with a little bit of a flat profile like a eulogy wheel or like one of those K2, um, K2 wheels, the face wheels that has a little bit of a flat up top. Uh, but for the most part, the rounded profile I think is the way to go.